The religious men were angry. Do this, do that, they said. There's a certain way of washing, wear the law upon your head. But Jesus pointed out to them what they didn't want to hear. The words were right, their hearts were not. Jesus made it clear. The root of the problem is our hearts. It comes from deep within. It's our wrong thoughts and our desires. The Bible calls this sin. Every one of us has failed God's law. Each of us has done wrong. And even if we tried our best, we would fail before too long. They brought a man to Jesus who was deaf and couldn't speak. Touch him, heal him, we know you can. As a healer, you're unique. But Jesus' way was different. He put his fingers in his ears. He spat, then touched his tongue. I'm sure it brought some jeers. Jesus said, be opened, as he looked up to heaven and sighed. The man heard and spoke some words, as praise to God he cried. Jesus said, be quiet, but the man just had to tell, to everyone who'd listen, that Jesus made him well. One day at Bethsaida, to Jesus a blind man they brought. They wanted to see him healing, but their hope came to naught. Jesus took the man away, outside the walls of the town. He'd heal him there privately. He would not let him down. He used spittle and touched his eyes and asked him what he saw. Although the man's vision was blurry, he got up off the floor. I see men like trees walking about, but everything is in a haze. Jesus touched his eyes one more time. Now he had perfect gaze. The man's experience was in two halves. Jesus made no mistake. He was teaching us a wonderful lesson. He did it for our sake. When we look at Jesus' life, what exactly do we heed? A good man? A teacher who did miracles for those who were in need? He's all those things and so much more. He is God the Son. Jesus came to earth to die for all. He did what must be done. When we clearly see all he's done for you and me, when we trust him, we're forgiven. From sin, we will be free.